I've never had the steering in one of these old Mercedes just bind up going one direction. It's going to take a little bit of troubleshooting here to see what is going on. The owner hasn't really driven the car very much in the last six months because he, he just was concerned about the steering. Where you turn one way and it's very, very hard to steer and you turn the other way and it steers normally. But I thought the first thing I would do is make sure there's nothing binding in the suspension parts themselves. So I jacked the car up in the front. Notice I'm using a heavy duty floor jack. I'm not jacking on the engine pan. I'm jacking on that cross member right behind the engine pan. <laughs> and look at this. I'll just open the door and turn the key on. And it's just as free as can be. I don't feel any binding, for instance, in the ball joints or any of the steering tie rods. It's pretty free in both directions. So it's obviously something going on between the pump and the steering box itself while the engine is running. So the next thing I'm going to do is pull the cap off that power steering pump, take a look at the fluid in the filter. Well, there's plenty of fluid in here. It doesn't look real dirty, but I'm going to suck this fluid out. And we're going to take a look at the filter that's down on the bottom of this reservoir. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to look for metal particles. And if the steering box is starting to come apart, we might be able to see a little metal up in here. So I want to go ahead and drain the rest of this reservoir. Take a wipe down in here and see if we pick anything up. No, it's pretty clean. And the fluid appears to be clean enough. I don't know what kind of fluid's in there. Looks like power steering fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and put a new filter in here and just refill this up and we'll start it up and check it again. If I see an improvement right away in this, I'll probably end up doing a complete system flush. But for now, for this test, I'm just going to refill with fluid and start the engine up, let it run a little bit and see if there's any difference. I think it would help if you can see exactly what I'm dealing with here. Replacing that filter did help. It's a little bit better in one direction. But if I start the engine and turn it to the left, it turns normally. Look at that. Nice and easy. But look what happens when I turn to the right. <laughs> now, I'm not faking it here, okay? This is really tight. It's as if there's no fluid in the power steering pump. So what I did is I still want to rule out the possibility of any binding in the suspension. So I jacked up one side at a time and did this back and forth. And I jacked up the left first, no difference. I jacked up the right side, no difference. 
So I think I'm down to this problem being related to probably the steering box. So it's going to be back to the drawing board and figure out my next plan of action on this. It's probably a stuck piston inside the steering box. And I don't know if I've got time to pull a steering box all apart and mess around with it. What I'm going to do is go around and check some of these other cars. Uh, who knows? Maybe I have a good box in one of those other 300 SDs that have been raining upon my head. So stay tuned to the next episode as I try to fix this steering problem.